This week marks the start of week three of The Sims 4 Reaper's Reward. So we're about midway through our weekly challenges leading up to the new expansion pack that's coming out October 31st. There were two tasks this week, the first ingredient and learning from the lady. So under the first ingredient, there are only three activities that you have to complete. Wait for the Ambrosia newsletter, which is kind of the same activity every week. Fish with bait, which you can use flowers, other fish, fruits, vegetables, anything you have in your inventory that's not like a book or something can be used. And then catch an angelfish. And then under the learning from a lady, there are three activities. Research grafting, which you can do by clicking on a plant. Cook a recipe at the level five cooking skills. So make sure your sim is at level five or will reach level five during the course of cooking a meal. And then cook a gourmet meal, which you don't unlock gourmet meals until you reach level five of the cooking skill. So of course, every week, these challenges kind of build upon themselves. So if you haven't done week one or two, you won't see activities from week three. They try to keep it in order. Um, when it comes to catching an angelfish, I will say I had a little bit of problems with that. My issue specifically for this one was the, if you hover over the task, it would say that you should go to the crawdad quarters of Willow Creek. So that's the area where there's the park and the museum and the gym and like all those community lots. I tried going there. When you look at the little pond that's actually in the park, there were no angelfish in the pond. I went to the water's edge in Willow Creek and I didn't catch any angelfish there. So I actually went on the Sims 4 subreddit and looked up how to find angelfish. And people said you could find it really easily through the pier in Bendleton Bay if you have the Cats and Dogs expansion pack. So I ended up going to that world and finding angelfish really easily. So I would say altogether, in terms of in-game time, it was about two Sims in-game days, only because my Sim had to work. So she was gone for eight hours in her gardening career, and then she had to sleep and you know all that. I didn't cheat any moods. I didn't take any time off of work for her to complete these tasks. But about in real life time, I would say it took about 30 minutes. So about the same as last week. Let me know in the comments below how your week three went, and if you're looking forward to next Tuesday when week four unlocks.